Hello as hello and assalamualaikum everyone. So today kita akan masuk the new chapter which is chapter 4 and the topic is magnetism. So it is basically we're going to learn about magnet. Okay. So chapter 4 is the chapter for your assignment. Okay. For chapter 4, we have 4.1 which is magnetic field. So what is magnetic field? So the learning objective 4.1a, you need to define what is magnetic field. Okay, so nama lain bagi magnetic field, dia juga boleh kita panggil sebagai magnetic flux density ataupun magnetic field intensity. Okay, so magnetic field is defined as a region surrounding a magnet or a card conductor carrying current where a magnetic force is experienced. So basically, magnetic field ni ialah uh, kawasan di sekeliling magnet ataupun CCC. Di sisi ni kita akan belajar lepas ni what is current carrying conductor okay where a magnetic force can be experienced maksudnya di sekeliling tu bila ada magnetic force akan ada magnetic field okay so we know what is magnet magnet always always have two poles so magnet akan ada north and south pole okay kalau kita patahkan magnet ni juga dia akan membentuk north dan south yang baru dia takkan jadi north sahaja ataupun south sahaja Okay, for example, I add this magnet. Contoh, saya patahkan dekat tengah-tengah ni. So, this part akan jadi south yang baru. This one akan jadi north yang baru. So, always akan ada north and south pole. And like poles will repel and unlike poles will attract. So, for example, you have south and north. Then, mereka duduk bersebelahan. So, like pole, uh, unlike pole akan attract. As we know. And the same pole akan repel alright so itu ialah learning objective 4.1 we need to know what is magnetic field so region around a magnet where magnetic force can be experienced alright now we go to the learning objective 4.1b we need to identify magnetic field sources and sketch their magnetic field line okay so what is magnetic field lines a magnetic field can be represented by magnetic field lines, straight lines or a curve. So, dia ialah straight line ataupun dia boleh jadi curve. For example, region sekeliling magnet ni, yang garisan ni itu ialah magnetic field lines. Okay. So, magnetic field line ni ialah benda yang kita represent magnetic field. Arrow on the line show the direction of the field. The arrow points away from the north pole and toward the south pole. Arrow ini akan keluar daripada north dan akan masuk ke south. Tak kisahlah macam mana pun, dia akan sentiasa keluar daripada north dan dia akan masuk ke south. Okay. A magnetic field lines do not intersect one another and the strength of magnetic field is indicated by the concentration of the field. Macam kita belajar electric field, dia tak akan pernah bersilang antara satu sama lain dan semakin rapat garisan tersebut menandakan dia semakin kuat. Okay. Kalau garisan tu jauh-jauh, maksudnya dia lemah lah. Okay. Sebab dia kata, the strength of magnetic field indicate the concentration of the line. So, line tu semakin banyak ataupun semakin rapat, semakin kuat. Semakin jauh, semakin lemah. Okay. Okay. Note here, symbols used in showing direction of magnetic field. B and current I. So, kalau dot, maksudnya magnetic field kita is out of the page. Kalau cross, maksudnya dia into the page. Ini sebab macam anak panah. Anak panah kan belakang dia cross. So, kalau cross, maksudnya dia masuk ke dalam page tersebut. Okay. Kalau dot, maksudnya this anak panah mata depan ni, dia akan keluar daripada page. Okay. So, kita akan belajar ada berapa source of magnet dalam dunia ini. So, magnetic field sources. Okay. Magnet ni ada dua source yang besar which is the first one is magnet itself and the second one ialah CCC ataupun current carrying conductor. Okay. So, kalau dalam magnet, kita ada bar magnet which is yang kita biasa jumpa yang bar ada north dan south. Yang kedua, the biggest magnet in the in the world which is earth. Bumi ialah magnet yang terbesar sebab bumi ada north and south. Okay. And for current current conductor, we have three types in CCC which is the first one, long straight wire, circular coil and solenoid. This one kita akan tengok in the next page. Okay. Alright. So, this is the magnetic field sources. Okay. The first one yang saya mention tadi ialah magnet. 
So magnet, the direction of field lines is from the north pole to the south pole. Okay, dia sentiasa akan keluar daripada utara dan akan masuk ke selatan. So we have uh, bar magnet, bar magnet dia akan keluar daripada north dan dia akan masuk ke south. Okay, and earth is the biggest magnet, magnet which is earth kan ada north dan south. So kalau kita tak kompas, kompas sebenarnya yang north tu dia menghala ke south. Sebab dia akan attract. Okay. Yang south, dia akan menuju ke north. Sebab south akan attract to north. Okay. That's why bila kita tak kompas, dia terbalik dengan magnet punya arah. Sebab kompas ni dia akan attract to the other pole. Okay. So, dia akan keluar daripada north dan dia akan masuk ke south. Alright. Of the magnet. Okay. And we also have a horseshoe or U magnet. Then sentiasa keluar daripada north dan masuk ke south. Itu untuk magnet. Okay. And we know two bar magnets unlike akan attract daripada north pergi ke south. And kalau light poles dia akan repel. Okay. And dekat tengah ni dia akan ada neutral point. Right, itu ialah kita punya source yang pertama which is magnet. Source yang kedua kita ada current carrying conductor. So what is current carrying conductor? So it is a magnetic field lines are concentric circular rings around the conductor. Its direction can be found by using right hand grip rule. Okay, so kita tahu magnetic field dia ialah vector. Kalau vector dia akan ada magnitude and direction. So, nak tahu nilai dia, kita akan guna formula. Untuk tahu direction dia, kita akan menggunakan right hand grip rule. Okay, the first thing in CCC yang kita belajar tadi ialah uh, circular coil. Atau, uh, the first thing ialah long straight wire. Long straight wire. So, dia ialah satu wire yang long straight dan dia ada current. So, bila dia ada current, dia akan ada magnetic field around dia. Okay, so to find the direction of the magnetic field, kita perlu menggunakan right hand grip rule. So, kita punya thumb akan jadi direction of the current. For example, current kita ke atas, thumb kita juga ke atas. Then, all four fingers kita akan jadi direction of kita punya magnetic field. Okay, this one kita akan um, practice uh, face to face. Okay, the next one kita ada circular coil which is CC. Okay, circular coil ialah wire tadi yang lurus. Kita jadikan dia bulat. Okay. Right. And the next one we have solenoid. What is solenoid? Solenoid ialah lingkaran yang banyak. So this is the solenoid. Okay. Thumb is direction of the north pole and fingers is direction of the current by using right hand grip rule. Right. So this is the sources for the magnetic field. Okay. So maksudnya magnetic field ada lima sos which is bar magnet, earth, long straight wire, circular coil and solenoid. Alright, so that's for 4.1.